A little bit much. I'm not a fan of stuffed animals, to be honest. I mean, they're cute and everything, but most of the time they don't fit into what you have already at home. It's going to be so crazy to see him after all these years. Michael and Tyler are so going to hit it off. Oh, well. I should probably check my email one more time before I go. No, I've already done that three times this morning. Okay, let's leave the scenery. Oh, open. So we're just gonna take this picture with us. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. No. I don't know. Yeah, don't, just throw it away then. Lol. Okay. Probably not gonna see any stars at this time of day. Not the prettiest of my. I could look at this artwork all day. I I couldn't. <laughs> I've been practiced since high school. Okay, she is good at. Ice hockey, I suppose. Or, well, at least plays it. Uh, Allie, she's gonna be so awkward. Why? Can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, I'm bummed I have to leave this behind, but the old house would probably collapse if I blasted this inside. Been listening to this on a loop lately. Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. I'll leave it for the next rebel. They're gonna need it more than I do. And he's going places. Oh, and yes. I'll be able to say I helped him on his way. Okay. Should I gotta do? Hmm. Is there any way I can? Nah, that's someone else's problem now. Man, I'm gonna miss that view. That's a fucking nice view, I'm not gonna lie. I would live there. Doesn't matter if there's snow or not. I know most of these by heart at this point. I wish I could have finished this before I left, but God, it was a slog. Hey, little guy. You're gonna be reunited with your sister soon. Cool. Bye, Herbert. He called his plant Herbert. Bye, Herbert. Okay. I mean, why not? You stay here. Educate the youngsters in classic cinema. You just say youngsters. How old is he? Denali. I need to get my application ready for next summer. Could be as old as me. Take me. This box of junk treasure is now yours by the first law of friend's keeper. Finders keepers, never mind. <clears throat> Fireweed. Okay. Whatever. Hey Aaron, you know I'm bad at this, but just wanted to say you've been the best counselor and at risk yet redeem redeemable youth, haha, <laughs> could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it count outside fireweed. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man, Tyler. Hmm. It's nice to get some appreciation, I guess. Anything else? Oh, uh, gonna miss these dum dums. Okay, I think we got everything.
Ah, thanks God. <laughs> Hi, Tyler. Well, hello there. Hi. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi's a good place to start. God, it's good to see you. <sighs> Likewise. Aww. You have anything else you need to get? Nope, this is it. My last 10 years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep, we're screwed. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything about this place? The view? Why would he miss the food? Honestly, the people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. Hmm. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. Let's go. That's pretty empty. Really, I am 100% not creative enough. Wait a second. So... Huh. Guess I kind of... Got to put that up here for the time being. So you can read the subtitle. Something like that, probably. Uh, settings, video, advanced. Um, can I windowed, full screen, borderless? That works, okay. Make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear, fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. 
can't believe you've got a bachelor's already. While I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. That's a weird image, but sure, why not? What, what about you? Oh, okay. Allison? Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point, and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. Yeah, whatever. So, we're really going back there, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder. I gotta adjust the sound a little bit. There we go. For houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey. Can I ask you a question? Of course not. Shoot. I was told, um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago, you still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just being an overly invested sister. Curious how you spent your time. Hmm. Allison? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry, when you said Eddie... I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't- And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. 
It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. Uh, why am I supposed to have a choice here? Oh, and it is running down in time. Okay, I, I, I take peace, whatever. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you. Why are those not decisions always you know, having a you time? You could call him Eddie. Okay, or even uncle? <laughs> Hard pass. Did you hear that? Whoa! Good. No place like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Thanks. It's so weird being back on this boat. Yikes. Hey, I heard that. Hey, man, it's your truck. You do you. Same to you. Live and let live. Just a sticker. Enjoying the ride? I don't think I could ever get tired of this. Agreed. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. Why am I? Why am I able to just look Wonder if up there'll his be time stuff. to hit the buzzard hole on here? <laughs> What's that now? Oh, uh, nothing. Isn't hunting season almost over? Almost. Want to draw for one of the last hunts of the season? Whoa! Look at that antique. You're not one of those odd sixes, old and boring folks, are you? Yeah, I'm. I'm super boring. That's because. Never mind. Hey, Allison, can we take the scenic route instead of the highway? Yes, please. Allison? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Uh, can you for sale strong and sturdy fiberglass transform blah? Okay. Under the sea. Under the sea, baby, it's better down where you're wetter. Under the trees, no. Didn't say anything. Hey, alternative. Nice to meet you. Um, I wish I could take the axe for whatever reason. Is there something I can see from here? No. I guess not. Well, let's go into the truck. Or is there any other option? Join. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. Duh. Hey, didn't we used to swim off that dock? Wait, no. That was on the lake. Oh, uh, they pulled that one out. What? No. Man, so many good memories. Of pushing me into the lake? Get some digs. It wasn't me. <laughs> the neighbor kid was the one who pushed you in all the time. Yeah. What's he up to? Bobby? I, uh, kinda dated him. <laughs> no way. Yeah. 
I always seem to attract the assholes. Another reason why I'm not dating right now. Damn. I watched the cell footage you sent me, but seeing it for real is wild. Yeah. It was terrible. You could smell the smoke all the way over in Delos Crossing. Two years later, and they haven't cleaned it up at all? I didn't Company know went Delos under was after. so... Surprise. Snowy. No one else is eager to take well, it maybe on. It's just the Someone season. died, right? Yeah. It was a crazy day. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. Come on, you don't know that. Doesn't hurt to try. Fair. Fair point. Something interesting over there now. Hmm. Alright, let's go and let's go. Actually, can I, can I talk with that man besides just talking about his... Where are you car? headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Born and bred. Born and bred? Ah, you don't say. I moved to Anchorage around your age. Delos was mostly Alaskan natives then. Clay kid, yeah, I'd, uh, I haven't been home long in long five long years. Long. You're visiting family? Oh, so you owed your family a visit? I'll say. You may not know it yet, but your folks they get old real fast. Right. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um... Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking if we're related, so I try to head it off at the pass. Oh. Uh... What'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. Oh. Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you. Let's go. Oh, okay. That's just normal. I always do that. When people talk. <laughs> it's not like you want to stare into the eyes of them all the day. Especially if you don't know them. Well, nice talk. You're getting new hardware to Hori? What's it about? Well, alternative, sad. I got a whole PC for that like five, five, six years ago. Yo, it's it's cold outside. There's snow everywhere. I wouldn't touch that fence at all. It's fucking cold. Could sell your computer right now wow. and getting money back. It's basically, even. exactly like I remember it. Because of the Only graphics card in there. Faded. 
Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. What are they about to do? They want to fire it up or what? After you. After me. So I can go everywhere. When she says after me, I can just look around. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. We already I don't want to that. think about okay. what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's do... Hey, it's locked, all right. Why is it locked? Oh, that's ours. What was she doing out here that night? Come on. Well, at least the tools are still here. That she did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or she homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. Hmm. Nothing special in there. I see. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? She always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Ugh. I can't believe these are still here. What yeah. the fuck is that? We should hide them, so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Exactly. Oh, well, that's a... it's a nice... Actually, it's a nice home. There's so much space. No. I bet we left all kinds of cool things in there. You can I look? bet we left all kinds of cool things in there. Not. I want to see all the kinds of cool things. Ah, oh, you don't want to wait for the PS5. No, you're right. Just invest in computer. You're always better with that. He want to, doesn't want to go there. You really want to go out there? Yes. No, you're right. What do you mean no? Yes. I wonder if there are still fish in the lake. Uncle Eddie taught us to fish here. Do you still fish? Wait, I watched us close. Oh, yeah. yeah, so she can keep an eye on us. Dude, it's a little early to try to cross the lake. Oh. I know it looks totally frozen, but there are probably thin patches. Hey, the danger's part of the fun. Let's not press your luck on your first day back. Why not? Okay, let's get to the house. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. Turned into the... I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. I gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. Well, that's cool. Have some fantasy in your life. I wish this will shock you, there. but it's locked. This will shock you, but most people try the front door first. Well, okay, let's get to the front door then. Well, that's not a front door, but I try it anyways. Ah, uh, it's locked. Seriously? 
Why haven't you checked the front door? Because true adventurers never walk a straight yeah, line. Yeah, exactly. Because the front door is always obvious. I just want to do everything before. Uh, so. Did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door is right there. Fuck off. Af Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. The back door. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had uh, a million come ways on. in and now out we of have to go house. all back to the spots that we already saw. At least one saw. of them's got to work. Uh, I wish they wouldn't have done it that string end. Is that a bird's Crafty house? goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Marianne always spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Remember how whenever we lost our toys in the sand, we thought the mad hunter had stolen them? How many sand castles did we build with this? None that survived. We thought this sandbox would hide us from the mad hunter, remember? That's right. The sand was... What, supposed to distort his piercing eye? The sandbox was a great The sandbox was one of her best ideas. Remember how she made it magically appear Christmas morning? Yeah. Somehow she kept us in the house all day. That must have been tricky. I can't believe how old we were when we stopped believing in Santa. Speak for yourself. I stopped way before you. I just kept the illusion going for your sake. Right. So all those letters every year, please, Santa, can I have a bike? That was all for my benefit. Got it. Aw, <laughs> uh, you're out of your element, little guy. How do you know? Maybe he's a snowfish. Lol. Hey, I think that's the same rake I cut my foot on. Wait, your foot? Wasn't that me? What? Oh. Yeah, I think you're right. Bit memory then. I bet we come get in there from the hole that we spotted. Because all the other ones was locked. And they were talking about the whatever goblins that they were. So let's try this. You need a hand with that? No, let's no, it go. should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably well, squeeze through. Well, my GPU through. is old as fuck as well. I have so a 980. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Oh, well, we saw already where that I is. I think I saw one back in the shed. Let's go check. Is it 970 or 980? I just don't know right now. Can we go through here? Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. Yes, the hey, screwdriver. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Yeah. Now all we it. need to do is get inside. Yeah, do it. Wait, I um, I'm feeling something strange. Hold space to focus. Oh, that's cool. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only Actually, trying not to make her even worse. Instead of the new shit right now. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did How when did we used to share thoughts that too? with our voice. It did, but that okay. was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but 
We never replayed memories like that. Oh, wait, the civ oh, wait. Why would it happen? Um, and why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. Are they siblings? It's weird. Twins. But our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Hello. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. What the? Use the sensor to locate the shot. Uh, near the barn? At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see is. what I put in the treasure You can then. still play things what? with 970. No, I want to see. Look how old. How long that it has been around. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. How did she get around on these roads with this thing? She'd rather have broken her neck than spend money on a new one. Yeah, still waiting for those bikes she promised us. Uncle Eddie got me one, but I hardly ever used it. So, where the fuck am I looking at? Do we go down there? I could just lie. Oh, looks like a neighbor came by. It's funny. I can't remember any signs of them when we were kids. Probably because our mother scared the shit out of them. Yeah, she scared everybody else off too. You need a break already, Ronan? No, just sitting, enjoying the view. Seriously, how are you feeling? Tired. I didn't sleep much last night. I'm yeah. kind of feeling cold I just by the look of everything. I used to run around for hours without stopping. Yeah. Always a troll to run away from. Or a treasure to find. We definitely never lacked imagination. Marianne didn't either. It was the one thing that brought us all together. Even in the end. She told a new story, didn't she? That night? It was... Weird. Hmm. She built this bench, right? If you're trying to scare me off so you can steal my seat, it won't work. No, I just remember us all sitting here after. I fell asleep and woke up really stiff later. I don't remember us sitting anywhere for more than a few seconds, which sounds exhausting now. Guess we're just old. At least we've got a few more years before we're as old as her. Hmm. Let's get inside. Come on, that's enough rest for us. Let's get inside. All right. So where do I go now? The kids went down here. Somewhere. I don't see with my cool vision anything. Do we have a key or something to get in there? Oh. Hey, still it's locked. locked, all right? Yeah, I mean, I know that already. Why is it still a possibility to click it then? Can I go down there now? Go out there? No, you're right. Oh, I'm a little bit lost. A little bit help from the game would be nice. I can't go there. Nothing here. Where 
Where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? No, no, no. Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. Can we open this now here as well? At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh. You sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay? A second. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Seriously. Yes, it was. <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Figure it out together. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left, I think. No well, if I want to go right. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. No, there is something there. I'm not gonna take it. Already worth it not to listen to them. A fucking lot there. If you just do something else. I would have taken the gold. Not even in your dreams. Then left again after the goblins. What's well, right then? Nope. It was on the right. Ah, My bad. Me. I want to see what's left now. Wow, can't say I ever expected to see you again. Yes. It's been a long time, buddy. Don't touch it. They had a lot of plywood. Wait, that was our treasure? It's just trash. We could make treasure out of anything. Pink. It always had to be pink. <laughs> I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. <laughs> Cute. 
past the treasure. Straight ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another child of fantasy. Me too. The Mad Hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Marianne's creation. She made all the creepy characters. Hmm. Can you not go there? Where am I supposed to go there? Oh. Up there. Okay. I can't trigger it. There we go. Looks like that had been used by somebody else. Doesn't look too bad. Tyler, are you in there? <laughs> nope. Tyler. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah. Same here. Imagine dying there. So, coming in Couldn't or what? Be me. Just <clears throat> working up to it. Well, well, we're here. Here we are. So. How do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Yeah, well, uh, <clears throat> let's go. All right, let's see. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine, broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. Ugh. Kids. All right, let's see. Broken oh, shelf, okay. broken jar, and the washing machine. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey. I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Right. Not that she ever let me wear him very long. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah. None of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. <laughs> I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. Hmm. Not a total disaster, Ronan. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us, like we were lab rats. Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. <laughs> Sounds a bit about to be right. Yeah. Let's 
That's it? Okay. Marianne's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. She pinched every penny. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. <laughs> we were, just not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. Hmm. Hey, Mom. We are sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you love it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we will try and see uh, and use good judgment. Mint. Wait, judge me. <laughs> okay. Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell Ollie not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do any more. We are sorry. Aww. Who the fuck is Ollie? What are you reading? Nothing. Oh. Well, I'll apologize for that. A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid vase, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. <sighs> I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us in some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we well, ever did. Oh, that's pretty good There's drawn a couple of these at my keep. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. That's a creepy way to look at it. You can keep some of them, if you want. No thanks. I mean, I like the photos of us, but I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Hmm. What's so wrong about it? She was always entering photography contests. Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Oh, wow. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Well, take care, Aldana. Thanks for being here for the time. Marianne said no to everything. Have a good Made one. Made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True, but it felt personal with me. Thank you. Take care. Have fun with the Grand Prix. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. But you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. With big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. Oh, Marianne. 2005. Of course. Yeah, I want to answer that. Wait. I have to go back to the... to the fireplace to be able to answer her. How 
big of a fire would it take to heat this place up? Yeah. She doesn't say it anymore. Okay. It was too fast. Fix the window. Hey, she drew some little hearts here. Oh. What? Mars 7. Oh. I owe you for the turn. Button face. Hey, that reminds me. I owe you like 10 birthday gifts. I think we can let that slide. No present for me. I mean it. What? You don't want me to buy you presents? You're gonna need your cash to get started. We've got a lifetime for gifts. Okay. But no presents from you either, then. Deal. But don't ride here. Okay. Hmm. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Becky store, right? Yeah. You'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic out pops a sticker. They have tiny little magic thing going on here everywhere. Best mom. <laughs> you think we ever really believed that? Or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Sponsorized by the local goblins. <laughs> String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. But when we broke them, I love fixing things. I wish she fixed herself. Yeah, well, she could have tried a little harder to fix her own head. Can you picture Marianne talking to a shrink? No. And speaking of... Therapy's expensive, and I'm fine. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Hmm. Upstairs it is then. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? <laughs> plotting world domination. Uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. Where'd you come from? Tale of two swords. Seems like a nice book. Now this, this feels like home. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. We are writing from the past. What is it like in the future? Anyways, Juno is super cool. We took the tramway all the way up. Ollie was scared. Liar. We got some books, but mommy went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. <laughs> It was Tyler, cool. do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? Shh, copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. <laughs> the Mad Hunter. Oh, he still gives me the creeps. I wish I could forget about him. No, that wasn't. Anyways, 
Here is a postcard to remind you how awesome we are, especially me, A and O, Alison, and Oli Ronan. No. Writing postcards to yourself, how tragic. Somehow cool, but tragic too. Look, it's the game we made, Lusion Tramway. That game never made any sense. Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Hey, you. Fair. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh, so that means it's oh, mine. This one this wasn't guy. mine. We never appreciated this view as kids. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. What the fuck? Look what I found! What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole- All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being That's piece. so cool, but I totally don't want to read all of this just right now. Can read one now. The frog earns the right to speak. Once upon a time in an ancient and deep forest, there lived a the big frog in a small pond. She was a peaceful creature who spent most of the time eating, swimming and uh, sleeping. From the morning to the evening, she did everything the smaller frogs did, except she did it bigger. She ate more, she jumped further. further. She was smarter and she made much more noise. Everybody in the forest could hear her loud croaking and everybody was happy that they could. You see, it was easy to get lost in the forest, but thanks to the frog's loud noise, you could just as easily find your way back to her pond. Maybe it would not have been the same if the big frog had kept singing during the night. But she was much too lazy an animal to stay active after dark. One day an unknown visitor came to the forest for the first time. It was a young woman dressed in a beautiful gown. She was walking fast through the woods as if she was running away and she never looked back. Many eyes spied the princess passed by but no one dared to help her for the mad hunter was on her trail. This is not our business, they said, and we had better look away, for the mad hunter was an unyielding man who loved nothing but hunting, uh, nothing but hunting down prey for money and glory. Nothing could escape his piercing eye for long. So the princess walked alone without help until she was hopelessly lost in the big forest, exhausted. She pressed on with no idea of where she was heading. As the hunter drew ever closer dodged in his pursuit, she continued the way until she heard a heavy crooking far off her left, so clear and loud that the princess immediately made for the source of the noise. A few minutes later, she reached the big frog in the small pond, and the frog looked at her, with a gentle smile. Help me, please, said the princess. I need a place to rest and hide. Ribbit, answered the frog, and the princess frowned. Please stop making noise. The mad hunter is after me. Ribbit, said the frog again, so loud that the princess had to cover her, ear, cover her ears. The creature began to jump every which way. What are you doing? asked the princess. Stop all that noise or he will find us. But the frog kept croaking and jumped around her left and right, up and down. 
Rivet, rivet. Until the princess understood the meaning of all this fuss, cautiously the woman climbed on the back of the big animal, and then with a leap the frog set off away from the pond. The frog jumped so high and so far that even the hunter could not find where the princess had gone. With a few jumps the princess was out of the piercing eye. A few jumps more and she had vanished for good. The princess closed her eyes and let her clever mount carry her wherever the creature pleased. Less than an hour later the big frog had reached the other side of the ancient forest near the shores of the very deep lake. There she landed without a noise in front of a big wooden house that had been abandoned. Thank you, said the princess, covering the animal's snoot with a kiss. I only wish you could speak, so I would have understood what you were t trying to do sooner. As she pronounced the words, something incredible happened. The big frog was suddenly able to speak. Her first words startled the princess. The mad hunter is always at my heels. Now you're safe, and I've had my revenge. You can stay in this house. It has been abandoned for a long time, and no one will look for you here. And then without looking back, the big frog jumped back to the pond. And this is how the big frog saved the princess, and how she earned the right to speak. That's a fucking cool story, what the fuck? Heck yeah. They are so long, the stories, though. I'll read them every now and then, I guess. Ah, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. That's the With point the of way having Marianne a diary. Was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mm -mm. Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. saw it coming she told me right to my face she was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning Tyler there is no way you could have known she'd go that far I want my diary back. <laughs> Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. I'm not looking forward to going in there. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. You know, if there's one thing you gotta give Marianne, it's that she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie didn't appreciate your artistic touch. 
I'd rather you call them Chief Brown if you're going to oh, be an Oh, at least I didn't it. got beaten up just for drawing at the walls because it's kids. Of course they will do. So much for my dream of being a hockey star. Marianne thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. How did you convince me to let you put this up? It was my favorite movie back then. <laughs> I love the details in here. It's nice. Can I see anything? Oh. Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. He was too powerful. There are goblins everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's go down to the room. Of no return. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but... It might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. I know that story. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. Okay. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. Well, how do I read that now? Oh, okay, with a tap. Um, the Princess Party. Okay, let's go for it, I guess. The Princess Party. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was melancholy. Because it was the one year anniversary of when she had run away from home. Sensing her sadness, her forest friends showed up at the door. They were headed by the p pelican, pierced and attentive, and organized by the mouse. Uh, by the moose, never mind. Stalwart and foresighted. The old bear was there with his claws so sharp, as well as the big frog prattling away. Even the haughty muskrat, who mostly came out at night, had come. The bear invited her to ride on his back, promising no wolf would harry the path, and then the animals led her to a fairy glen, where a fabulous party had been prepared. There was a, buff a buffet of seafood the pelican had her from her never-emptying beak. The air was filled with winking fairy lights. The moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky. And the gregarious frog mixed up fizzling drinks. Only the muskrat had done nothing in particular, wishing off everyone else's hard work. The princess had very good time at the 
her party. Such a good time that she forgot to say thank you to any of her friends. Noticing this, the fairies devised a bit of mischief. When the princess went to open her gift, she found three identical boxes at the edge of the glen. Puzzled, uh, puzzled the turned back and gasped. The entire party had vanished. Because you have taken your friends for granted, called the naughty fairies. We have hidden them from you, but we like games. Guess who has given you each of these presents and you'll get your friends back. The princess opened the first box. Inside there was a torch, which when lit revealed the truth. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark. And that's always see right from wrong. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? She opened the second book uh, box. Inside there was a magic sword which would leap right out of the book bearer's hand to defend them hmm said the princess someone wants to make sure i am protected if i'm ever under threat which of my friends would give me a gift like that she opened the third box inside there was a bag of coins that always provided money if it was for something that bearer truly needed hmm said the princess someone wants to make sure i have money to buy food when i'm hungry and close when I'm cold. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? The princess thought about her friends, and then she smiled. Certainly, fairy, she said, I may have been thoroughless, but I appreciate all of uh, all that my friends have given to me, and all that they have done for me. She gave her answers and the vexed fairies were forced to restore the party in a flash of colorful light. One by one she gave the animals a hug and thanked them for the presents, the party and all they had done to help since she'd moved into the forest. And that is how the princess celebrated her first anniversary in the woods. Okay. Um... Yeah, so the first animal, uh, she opened the, no, that's the second book, uh, the princess opened the first book, there was a torch when lit it revealed the truth, okay, let's see, I want to, uh, do I have, um, by the pelican, ten different books. The bear invited to ride the bear, promising no wolf would harry the path. The animal led her to the fairy glen. The fairy's party held with her seafood. Leather and TV. The air was filled with winky fairy lights. So, the lights are by the moose. Okay. The second uh, she opened the second box. Inside was a sword. That's the bear. Okay. And the third box. She opened the second. She opened the third box. Inside there was a bag of coins that always provides money. Uh, so empty beak. I think that should be him. The pelican. What's the face it brings? Yeah, the pelican. There we go. That's nice. So you have to read the stories for progress in the game. That's interesting. It's a good, good way to put them in. And boom, we're in. 
Yeah, sure, and that light is on there the whole time. The past 10 years. this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. <laughs> Why do I feel like you're not going to let me forget that? Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Sewing lessons were the absolute worst. She made all our clothes. Mm. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure she needed the help. And I, for one, am happy I can fix a torn seam. Hmm. I tried to read this one. I can never figure out the order of the chapters, though. Didn't the author go insane or something? <laughs> no wonder Miriam liked it. Hmm. Oh. This explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? No, not really. If I'm honest, not really. I can't see shit. There's the diary. It's here. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Raising your transgender child. Yeah, that's what I thought. Earlier, that was two <laughs> girls in the... Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad at I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler... Come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air.
That's what I thought. And the and the visions, it's always two girls. So you change sex, I guess. What do you think, guys? Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. Well, not it, all. It looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <gasps> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck happened there? <laughs> that kind of went overboard in no time. A little bit, yeah. Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. Fair, yes. Maybe she just took it because there's a bear outside or something, you don't know. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. But she, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense. I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that, 
Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll well, make it really all make sense. Totally wrong. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her <laughs> about it. Sure. <laughs> but I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. And then we found the book, and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. Hmm. I wanted to talk to you about that, but it never seemed like the right time. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Yeah. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone, and, oh god, I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place, and the smells, Allison, the smells, men smell bad. I know. Yo. I've dated what a few. What the fuck? Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Yeah, so, exactly. We have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. I mean, Sorry. we use deal for a reason, I guess. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? Can I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. No. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Good for you. Can I, can I, can I read this now? Okay, thank you. Mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one mom is screaming at now. Mom almost seemed jealous we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Ali thinks we should tell her about our voice. I, th I think she knows already. Mom seemed r really upset when I asked to join the hockey team. Like it's wrong for me to play a boy sport. I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. 
She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why does she ever let me do... Uh, wait. Why does she... Doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Alison and I started writing a story. Well, Alison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? Saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great, but mom found out we watched it and got so mad. She said it gloried war. Zoom zoom. Saturday 5th February 2005. Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to? When she, looked, uh, when she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Alison told me again that it was my fault mom got angry at us. She is such a suck up. Mom barely said anything to us in a few days. Ellie said she saw her throwing away pages from the book of goblins. Do this, do that. I'm sick of her voice. And I'm sick of that dumb name tool. The Ollie the Goblin. I'm Ollie the Goblin. Okay. So he really didn't want to spend time with her for quite some time. I think we should head out right away. Already tired of the view? Just finding it hard to relax and enjoy it with so yeah, much you're in right my mind. Already. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Ah, uh -huh. my sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. <laughs> what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. No known any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler, my brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... Damn, you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. I'm just me. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well, I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before, but uh, I've never seen a dude. Sam, that's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Uh, Why give so much I'm about words? Sorry. It's just the very it's same. Sorry to keep track out case. here in Dellos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. It's fine. It's just a way to try to describe what's going on. <laughs> Works for it's me. It's all about it. It's nothing Tyler. that you want to hurt Sam. somebody with. It's just words after all. So... What are you doing here, exactly? Oh, well, I, uh... I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, you know, all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, That's no big deal, I just... You know, your mama, she was, uh... She was a special lady. She deserved much better than... You know, uh... What you got? Didn't oh, well. you used to help Marianne with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, seeing as your mom had never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. <laughs> no one asked you? A few bad memories too. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? Allie, can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh, all right. <laughs> I want to know that, yeah. Seems like it. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well, I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. No. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Hello, honey. Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I hope you do it. I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh, uh so, uh, Guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. Okay. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. That's only two questions though. I already asked them. Uh, we should get going. Hope your day is good, honey. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Hope you don't have to too much of a bullshit work day today. Uh. He doesn't seem to be busted, to really. To be any more help. I don't get what they, I'll tell him to get him they are then. talking about. He seems to be nice well, and everything. We've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so... Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam? We all gotta get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I... Lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Yeah, that's nice. Happy to do it. I... Uh, 
Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Mm -hmm. Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, uh... This place... It meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like... It was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. No. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out. Be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, oh, I see you. Take care, take of, care of the beast and stuff. Both of you. Hey, so we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. So we play her now. Hong Kong. Don't they just give the picture to Sam? They don't need it anymore. I want to get rid of everything anyways. I saw him on the picture earlier. One of their friends, I guess. <laughs> That's a bumpy ass car. <laughs> Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep it's in mind Vicky. that your memory of her is it's 10 Vicky. years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Yep, I'm playing her right now. Okay. Uh, I just follow the game, I guess. Well, hello hey, you. There. hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24/7, so I feel like I already know you. Awkward so, moment. uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. Oh. And did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. Oh. I'm studying to be a chef, so uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Yeah, I was like, oh, fish why? Been a day. <laughs> he just wanted to oh, prove himself like to be to strong fish? enough. Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. 
Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. <laughs> just fill the fucking lake with cyanide? No, thank you. The future mayor of Delos Crossing. Tom Vecchi? Yep. Oh, that Is was it really a that fucking big of joke shock? about it. He owns name. the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas. And he's not exactly charismatic. Oh. I want to have the crispy tocino. And noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Hmm. This could be all a misunderstanding yeah, of that Tessa's one cooking. night. But I she mean, still make it those? just came together in that one night, I guess. Fried banana rolls. There must Tehran? have been more than right. just mm. arguing. No, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. To have with your parents. I like that you leave. Yo, that's pretty neat. I like to leave some footsteps. Is there anything that you can do with this truck? No. Okay. They turn that fan into a billboard. Yeah, Tessa didn't want to get rid of her old food truck. Too many memories. Great marketing, though, right? You can't miss it. It's a dome. You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. Weird. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. No, it wasn't. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I love baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Why, why am I able to look inside like this? Boo! Jesus. How do you always get me? <laughs> Oh, wait. I'm oh. sneaky like that. That's why. Mm, totally going up there. But there's nothing that I can do. Okay. Let's go inside. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go shopping. Yeah, let's go. Just waiting for you, bro. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, you. No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure. sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Oh, he seems nice. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving up in the Can I go in there? Oh. oh, he did say something. I forgot my phone. Maybe later. Later. We've got some shopping to do. Go away. The 
stroking. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that <laughs> I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. <laughs> he, he's nice. I like his persona. So, cleaning products. You think we should get the organic one or the industrial strength planet killer? Judging by the state of the house, I think we're going to need top of the line. Yes, burn it down. It is, then. Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but... I don't hmm. I should write down their info for after the move. Hmm. Maybe. Halloween celebration. Catholic. How is Catholic doing a Halloween celebration? That doesn't seem right. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Take I'm grabbing some, some water. water. You do you, girl. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? I don't know who arranged all the shelves today, but they're a total mess. Are you coming for me, Ronan? Do I have to remind you of the great spreadsheet disaster of 2014, huh? We don't talk about that. I just made one tiny function mistake. Which wound up in the store almost ordering $10,000 worth of tampons. <laughs> 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 you really saved my ass when you caught that. Yep, and you still owe me for it. Anyway, how's your day going? Hmm. Well, we found something. Just bummed to go back. Yeah. Oh. We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Sure. What else do we need? Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder. <laughs> hey, Tom, when'd you get that new California plate? You remember that nice young couple who came through town last summer? Who is the funky band? They sent you their license plate? Their band got impounded, and I pulled some strings to get it out. So by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? I've got friends in high places. Hey, Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Uh, I'm more the chips guy. Mm, I'll take the chips. Let's see, fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope, just browsing these fancy ass candles. Got any big plans you in You only Juno? live once. Oh yeah, um, well there's a passable cooking school. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. She doesn't say anything to that, but can I look at it? <clears throat> okay. Guess we have everything then. What's Allison, it? I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Yo, don't don't be so harsh.
I don't know. Actually, I like candles too, to be honest. Just the tea candles. Will that though. be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. I'm not about those smelly candles. I don't like that. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. Oh my god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? Nice, no. Melody like We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. She's done. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Mary Ann was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help yeah, when it came to us. you're right. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. Man, she's not hell at all. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Yeah. I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. You can see any thingies, maybe? Oh yeah, it's crispy here. Where? I don't see it. I bet it's around that fish. No. Nope. Oh, there it is. Let's go. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, oh. Didn't what's like your each excuse other? this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Oh, wait, there's something like that. Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. That's a way. Okay. Sweet away of her. Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter. Oh, okay. And then Goodbye, honey. Out a test, I'm sorry. Right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? It's it's not uh, too long Please, of a gameplay to be honest. So if you want to keep up the story, uh, then just make you, you you will find it in my vault later oh. on. Choose which memory you want to remember. I want to talk to you now, or do I need to start calling in your debts? Well, that no, looks Tessa more was. like the. He went all Jack Thompson on her. Why does, why does her m memory look more like it would fit in? Because she seemed very sus about it. 
So that version would work quite well on it. But, but this one is just two friends. And they said they were very close to each other. So I kind of believe this story more. This one. Wait, what Tyler, are you going to be? Please, let's just Tyler's talk for a few Mary. minutes. Mary Ann okay? was angry. Tessa was angry. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? I want to... I think I choose this one. Talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... Oh my God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes. You might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back. You stay inside. What is wrong with you? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Now let's ask her then. Is there something I can do for you? Just shopping. What are you up to? Your fight with Marianne. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. <sighs> I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when duh. we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the song. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero <laughs> and chocolate. But it's not bad. Yeah, chili and chocolate What do we bad. think up next, huh? What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. No, I didn't. What's want next to on that. the campaign trail? Read. A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are Can getting pretty that? fed up with business as usual. 
I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, no, but also put that. food on the table. Oh, sorry. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. Ah, really? <laughs> oh, a little light on customers, like but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Uh, don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got no, in last week? No, not yet. But oh, chili no. and chocolate not go yet. well together. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. Yeah. But it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. What do they think up next, huh? Uh, maybe poop and chocolate. I don't know. This might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear. Also, of yes, course. having fun here. Uh, hold on. You like the story so far? Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. I think it's a little bit slow paced in between. But I like how you get the uh, get closer to the characters through that. This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Wasn't it here? Write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay, whatever you want. There, happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close, like I promised. Well, she kept writing it down and she never thought anything. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. There was another one, wasn't it? Say to him. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. Yeah. I think they're all piled up in Tessa's office somewhere. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with a storm. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Mary Ann. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. Wasn't it, was it the though. Catholic thingy Maybe in the room? Maybe conversion therapy bad. This is true. I want to know how Marianne felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Huh. I could have sworn there were more memories, but now I don't see anything. Where'd they go? I think we can only see them when the song is on. Well, can... Can we talk to him to put the song up again? Put the song up again. 
Do the same song again. Sorry, uh, can you put the song back on? Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Here it is. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good yes, idea. But let's see if there's some other numbers. The Alliance Against Others Goes Business. I don't see up there or something. Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. Hmm. I forgot how carefree she is. You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Maybe. I hope so. That'll be cool. I don't see any. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. Yeah. I think they're all piled up in Tessa's office somewhere. There's some memories in the office, maybe? No? Okay. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. What's this doing here? It's all the, the uh, creatures from uh, the book until now. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Ain't nobody can read that. June 24, for a meal at the restaurant paid off. September 11, doll for the kid. February 50, March paid off, February debt. September 20, for gas paid in full. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before. That night. April paid off. May 37 groceries plus 30 new jacket for Allison paid off. Help that store. June 24 more medicine paid off. August 40 groceries paid off. Help during rush inventory. October 140 for washing machine repairs. No show. November 55, no shows for the kid, check bounce. December, no show, no return calls. January, no Someone show. Someone got okay. paid to write this. Hmm. So there was something going on after all. Oh, was here. Uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Uh, don't miss out on this opportunity. What if I told you the government owned you up to 10,000 cash to go to sh uh, school? This is not a loan you won't have to pay back. This is not a scam. Take this seriously. Click below to take the two minutes questionnaire and claim your money. Click here to let us know if you pr uh, prefer check on <laughs> Okay, no scam at all. Seekers youth camp. Alliance for traditional Wait, families. What? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Your order has been shipped. Hello, thank you for shopping with us. Your order of garlic peeler kitchen tool has been shipped. 
Hey Tessie, I just got back from my work uh, uh, work Asian and found this girl in bed sleeping like happy locks. Adrian said they were hi uh, riding high when he picked them up from your place today. And apparently you got them both to eat uh, care. Please let me know if that uh, know what sand you prayed to pull that off lol all morning they've been going on and on about their camping trip with auntie tessa and all these moors they ate and box they caught i can't remember the last time they were both this happy at the same time usually it opened uh, it's one happy the other one is crying i know you're busy with the store and I know you're busy with the store and getting ready for the first lady so thanks for making time for them and so sorry about the last minute drop off you know how work has been the girl says we love your auntie Tessa PS you and Tom should uh, come for dinner sometime Adrian been dying to show him the new media room which will keep them busy while we drink wine in the kitchen uh, elephant in the room. I know y'all don't want to have this conversation, but Lisa has slaked on rehearsal again. She hasn't shown up in weeks. No, we were all moved beyond words by her performance of Danny Boy at Carl's funeral. But what's go what good is a beautiful voice if you can't show up on time every week like everybody else? I think we should start planning the winter gala without her thoughts mm, i think we've seen enough yeah, yeah we've got a good I've sense of what went well. down <laughs> let's talk to tessa well, let's talk then is there something i can do for you yeah um well um what are you, what are you up to so what are you doing there oh just inventory guess i'm lucky i had the day off huh <laughs> yes what a lucky coincidence we're back, with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts? I never, like I'm some kind of lone shark. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. October 2004. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. You told her about the camp. You said she was failing us. Don't we know, know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The camp of trans... Traditional spirit camp of... How am I supposed to remember that? Camp of Transitional Spirits, Camp of the Grey Storm. Uh, I, I, I can't recall the name. <sighs> Whatever. The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I, um, I... Look, you've clearly decided I'm Judas, just like Marianne did. But I was trying to help. Tyler, she told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. You told her to send her child to conversion therapy. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. No. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to. Let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? 
She was more than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. Well, get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Hmm. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the Imagine past. Imagine going shopping and somebody brings your groceries to your shit. Yeah. And Marianne, she had my back. It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. No, but knowing she, she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. It, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. What? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Yeah. Me too. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. I guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Interesting. That's a weirdly long shot for that scene. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. So let's investigate on all the other things that are downstairs. Damn, they still got this creepy mascot, huh? Yeah, I keep telling Eddie to get rid of it. He terrifies all the kids that come through here. Should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? 100% college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your credit card stolen by an online college. Too soon, Tyler. Too soon. Too <laughs> little too late. Too little too late. Oh, that's still not cleaned up. Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during the spill. God, I hope not. Mm. Home sweet home. Mm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. It's freezing in- mm. Locked. I like to have that window view for some reason. I don't know why. Can I open this? What? Claire Brown was missing on a 
snowmobile? Yeah. I thought you were still here when... What do you know? Still locked. Why is everything locked? Free. Mm. Eddie must have locked it already. I can't believe they're still sending psychiatric patients to prison. Yeah, I heard about that. It's so messed up. <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. I think one of the benefits of living in a city is that you can actually choose between things oh, that you Oh, Greg. That you can't Just eat leaving on this day. out on display again. Greg's. Like Officer Greg's? The one who was with us that night. Yeah, shit. Stop touching everything, Butterfingers. Sorry. Huh. Is that like an old-timey police scanner? Yeah, so cool, right? It had been gathering dust in a closet for years. Eddie put it out on display last year. <laughs> Nerd. Imagine. The Delos Crossing Raiders. They got a basketball team now? Yep. A few cops from this station and some firefighters from the next town over. How good are they? Mm, Eddie's within earshot, right? I think so. Then they're great. Oh. Huh. Why do they look so familiar? Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jay? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting him. I should take her out for a birthday drink. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. Locked. Well, what did you expect, dum dum? It's a police station. Don't call him dum dum. I just did the same. This is not right. And she doesn't go in. The only door that's not locked, and she Something's doesn't go in. in. Way. Fuck my life. Okay, let's go up the stairs then. Tyler, you coming? Move your ass. where they stash all the guns and stuff. Yep. But I don't need to tell you that it's off limits. Don't worry. I won't try to get in. I'm not big on firearms. You Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. 
-hmm. Come back upstairs mm -hmm. when you're done, okay? Mm -hmm. Coffee, Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. We have the keys now. Can we go anywhere now? Nope, I guess not. What was that with Reed? Oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. Out of my way. Move, bitch. those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. <sighs> Something's in the way. Something's in the way, okay. No, no. So what's the memory? Allison, how about that coffee we were talking about? Hmm. Where are we going? We're just gonna sit down in here. I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. I've let this place get gross. Seriously, that was blocking the way? How this is you... heavier than I expected. I guess. Let's open now. I'm not going in. Why not? Do you think they'll mind if I take one? Same cookies last week. These are definitely the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. Ugh, I'm so hungry. Well, eat some chips. I'm then. not that hungry. We bought some chips. Is that? How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey. You okay? I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't, please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? I'm fine. Honestly? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. No. I want to investigate more. Do you mind if I go you. inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Ooh, that's got to be a new record. 
He was hungry, why doesn't he take some of that? Is there something to see here? No? Yes. Well, that was yep, helpful. Yep, it's locked. Officer Vincenzi? Hey, is this crazy D's locker? I think so. Yep, I think so. We need a key to open it. We'll open it. Where, where, where do we find the key? Yep, it's locked. You know shit, you're locked. What's on your mind? Just thinking about how we slept in that corner over there. Yeah, on that paper-thin mattress from the cell. <sighs> it could have been a pillow top and I wouldn't have slept a wink. I don't know how you come here every week. I've been here 10 minutes and it's already fucking me up. It never really stopped hurting. Hey, do you have any reoccurring nightmares about that night? Yeah, why? Well, remember that nice lady from social services who picked us up? Oh, what was her name? Uh, Sandy, I think? Yeah. I used to dream about her a lot. Um, sorry, what? Yeah. It would always start out pretty normal, like we'd be sitting in the living room with Marianne doing a sewing lesson and then suddenly she would turn into Sandy and she would hold us in her arms, pulling us in tighter and tighter until I would wake up practically choking. Jesus. So are things gonna be weird at all between you and Eddie? I took the gift, Allison. I'm trying to make an effort. Thank you, I know. I just want everything to be cool. It will be. Let's go? Yep. We still need to find those keys. Where could they be? Probably in the waiting room. Check out this masterpiece. <laughs> you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored and nobody has bothered to peel it off. What is it? There's sparkles. Hmm. I want to see. It's the first there. time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Find the key somewhere here. Huh. What's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? It's so weird with those creatures. Here. Um, have a seat. All right. Damn it. No. Sorry. Huh. They kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Nobody would ever do that anymore. There's no key in here. <clears throat> I'm not that hungry. But maybe the keys are down there. Oh. 
Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. It's not the same police officer as upstairs. You're awfully yeah. quiet. Yeah, sorry. Trying to deal, but it's a lot. Check out this masterpiece. Oh, you, that. you made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. Still need to find the keys. Yep, it's locked. Nothing in here. So, probably somewhere else. Do we, do we, do we get in there now? No. I don't see any keys. Nope. Nothing out of the ordinary. Open it. We have the key. Whew. Rose never lets me back here. Oh, huh. probably because it's Rose a Rose left the computer on. Yeah. Use. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I, I have I have not the clue yet. I mean uh, to all police department personnel from the rules Jackson, new administration software, please reset your password with the in uh, introduction of your new administrative software. All employees must reset their password. Please note that the reception desk computer can now be accessed using any officer's ID and passwords. Talk to Sally for m or me if you have any questions. Any officer's ID? Well, that's good. But how do we get the ID of anyone? See any IDs? Oh, maybe on the desk. Not this desk, though. Did she leave her ID somewhere? She won't notice if we borrow this, right? As long as we put it back right where we found it, we're good. She's going to give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Happy 29th birthday, Denise. Keep up the good work, Eddie. And another year to prove that older doesn't really mean wiser. I have a kick-ass day, DD Dan. Enjoy your last year of youth before joining the bitter 30-year uh, old lady club. Don't waste it. Rosie, hope you enjoy the spicy chocolate. Happy birthday, D. Joshua, happy birthday. You don't look a day over a hundred. Maria, hello. Hmm. 
Okay, we found the key. We still need an ID, though. So mine. I should take her out for a birthday drink. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? Yeah, I always thought she was a bit of an oddball, but in a good way. She's passionate. Passionate. Oh. Yeah. Whatever. Mm, getting out of here. Need to find the ID. Wait. No. Um, maybe on that desk over there. Oh my God, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me you've got baby fever. Ew! You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who are always pissing Tessa off because they have glass the fish uh, and make out the baggies parking So more. maybe we found yep. an idea. Dan's a cop himself. now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? I kind of doubt that you decide to become an adult. It just happens. I can't believe they're going to prison for nothing. All police department personnel from please bay mental health institution uh, subject parity and transfer all the dealers crossing police department officers please be advised that due to overcrowding issues patients Dean Becker Kevin Sutton will be transferred to the Fallen Creek Ho Correction Center SPU on Monday. Uh, patient ID, Sutton Kevin, Becker Dean, that's patient IDs, uh, that's also more digits, okay, that's not what we're searching for. So many Remember ones. Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. Hmm. I can't happen to find any ID of somebody. So I'll probably have to go to the to unlock the drawer. Maybe there's something in there. Could be. We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but you never know where we might find information about that night. I guess so. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker. That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with yeah, this. An intruder yeah, like, us. like two goblin intruders. Mm -hmm. You administration software, please reset your password with the introduction. Administration, please do not blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what's your password? Is it just birth? I think it's bird. Okay, interesting. Balto came through. Well, that was not much to see really in there. Empty party. Okay. So we put back the key first. seen with it. And then we go to the room again. It should be bird. What's her name? Let's 
so absolute not J R Jackson. Hmm. Am I? S I I really like it. Yes, I. I'm just too stupid to find the password, and I kind of fucked the room already again. It was birth, wasn't it? It was underlined on the on the letter. Am I, am I just too stupid? won't notice if we borrow this, uh, right? Just take it as long again, as we put it back right where we found it, we're good. I should take her out for a birthday drink. Oof, I should have gotten her something. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Open it again. Winter on my twentieth birthday. Hmm. What's her ID? I don't see it. I thought that it was birth because it was underlined. But well, well, it's a password. Password winner on my 20th B day. No. Winner. So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. No. I want to solve this. What would fit in here? No. Winner on my twentieth birthday. I, I don't get it. <laughs> Do you? Is it? Is it on the dog shark? Um. I should take her out for a birthday drink.
we have 2013 she is 29 now so nine uh nine years back it's for 2004 mitch survey tree well the winner doesn't fit in it has one more letter than uh, the password could be 20th birthday is also too long and 20th is too short wait is 20th too short yeah it's too short for one letter and be day either so i think it might be c way c way maybe 2004 CV. Let's see. Mitch. Damn it. Nope. Hmm. I want to solve this. <laughs> I should take her out for a birthday drink. Trails let dog race winners list. Mitch Seavey was the winner 2013, but also 2004. Now it's Mitch Seavey, Tanner and Treat. Maybe it's trade. T R E A D. T R E A D. T R E A D. Damn it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Wilson's dead. So we have two thousand fifteen. Yeah, we have 2015. There were okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's not 2013. It's, it's 2015. I should take her out for a birthday drink. Uh, so it's 2000, 2006. Jeff King Salem Salem. It is then. Also, we need to put back the key again. It's a good password, to be honest. It's a good trick to find back your password. It's 
say um, Damn it. Wasn't it? Bingo. Whatever. Anything juicy? Just Denise's work emails. Sam Kansky, oh, just Sam. ahead what about of, him? since you're picking up the relief shift He got arrested for public morning. intoxication last week, and that was not his first offense. He's on a bit of a downward spiral. Okay. Ms. Reynolds brought a set of keys that she found lying on the ground outside the Vecchi's. Ve uh, yeah, Vecchi's this morning. Three small keys and a bottle open keychain. If anybody comes in looking for them, they are in the lost and found cupboard. I would have filled, uh, filed this probably, but that new administration software bullshit was down all day. Seriously, whose idea was it to change it? I'd like to invite them to this new two way with a range I found. <laughs> well. Hello. Thank you for shopping with us. Your order of Just Between Us Season 2 complete DVD set has been shipped. If you want for us. Hey D, are there any sliders or reading material for your lecture on Friday? Also wanted to let you know we had lots of people sign up so expect a good turnout and wear your nicest suits. I think these kids really enjoy your talks. Keep it up. When I dare to power to be to when I dare to be powerful to use my strength in the service of my vision, then it becomes less and less important whether I'm afraid. Hey Kyla, yep, I'll send you my sliders as soon as I get home. I'm so glad to hear this. Here's my secret for keeping kids' attention tailed from the detox tank. Last time I told them about how I got into a high-speed chase with a drunk guy on a snowmobile. I might have embellished some details, but it was all spiritual, true, lol. Whatever, it takes to get your point across, right? you preach to the core looking forward to Friday I do I, I don't get it that was not much of useful information in there just that somebody was drinking quite a lot lately Hey, sorry that took so long. Yeah, that took ages. What Sometimes have you been these doing? old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. Yeah, they could have robbed the those whole kids office while <laughs> well, he was I in there. I would say children of the future. I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah, not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Marianne worried about something. What are her last days like? What were her last days like? 
Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Well, being kept apart, hey, immortal. Being Look, kept apart is wrong. Separating but us like that did I not think... help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. <laughs> you were up I until didn't know you felt that way, little moose. Sick. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? No. Can't we just move on? I mean, Sounds like the right call. Yeah, moving <laughs> on is good. Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. He's quite quiet for having an outbreak like this a second ago. Oh, the hunter. Was that the hunter? Could have been. He was the only one that saw that. Stop! Allison! Allison! Why, why, why is she pointing the gun though? was there. Mad Hunter. Yeah, it is really good. It's good storytelling. Mad 
please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No. Please. Please. Oh, and she really wanted to kill him? So he took... This isn't... What? Well, that's why they don't want to go down there. But how, how... Why did he... Got sent away... When it was her... So he told her. everybody he did it. I killed her. Allison... <laughs> we need to call... For help. <laughs> No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. No, no. Yes, we look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. Oh, sorry. Thanks for telling me. <clears throat> That should be better. Be okay. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> should be better to hear me now. I don't get it. Why did she really want to kill him? That 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 still does not make sense at all. Wait, what? How is that the end? So many people accepted the ring, what the fuck? Looks like it. Alison was delighted to solve the princess riddle with her brother. So the door passed open. Yes, I once for... <laughs> I at least once was not uh, just doing what everybody else did. Find all figures, sadly, so couldn't complete the puzzle. Maybe I will try playing again, okay? Yeah, sounds good. Tyler was reassuring of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. Sided with Tyler, sided with Eddie. Hmm. Tyler was protected. Tyler protected himself against Sam's aggression. I didn't call out Sam. Yeah, why would I? He seemed to be a nice person. Tessa opened up for the twins about Marianne learned the truth. Hmm. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't side with him at the station, sided with Tyler. Uh, okay. So the story goes so on. So what now? Good. Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not serious. It's always good to play some games like this archive. again because you have multiple go choices and make the game different. It's a real good game though. I highly recommend playing it if you like it and want to have other choices than I do. It's not that much. It's on Steam. Chapters. Collectibles. The Mad Hunter. I, I I really didn't find a lot of things. 
as it seems. The Ice King is the lord of the whole forest. He is so powerful that no one dares to challenge his commands. The pious pelican is the princess's generous friend. She has a magical beak that is always full of food and never empties. The mad hunter is a cruel and ruthless creature. Once he starts hunting someone, he never stops. He'll chase his prey to the ends of the earth if he needs to. No one can escape his piercing eye. Unlike the artwork of him, he looks neat. The crafty goblins are two cunning little thieves who live under the princess's house. They're always getting into mischief, but they have good hearts. My idea of just having a cord there is so cute. I like it. Consequences. Alison was happy that Tyler accepted Eddie's peace offering. So the princess room. Okay, we had that. Do we do we have to uh, play it back so we uh, and find more of those obstacles to get more of the story, or is that the story? Because it feels like there's more. Do you know anything about it, Moon? Oh, continue. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. Crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited. Together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Yo, that's some big bolts of ice creams. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. 
I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. So it's the doves at the bench downstairs after all. She called them doves. What a waste. It's a really good storytelling. Also, welcome back, weather. Hey, Luke. Interesting. It's interesting that they go into the um, that they first go into uh, the menu between the chapters. I really thought it was <laughs> kind of an end. Could have been. I could have stopped there and played next time. <laughs> I should have used that. <laughs> Shit, we sent you to bed early. You were sleeping then. Oh man, that's half an hour after I went to bed.
so they packing all the things and that's the memories that they go through while that I see. Oh, we can invite weather, but not me. That's rude. Hey. You doing all right? Hope you have fun. I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? <laughs> okay, we yeah. Uh, uh, spun uh, off a I whole guess. miserable prequel trilogy. <laughs> We're not letting ourselves You're do this cutter. again. Come on, up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? Oh. No, on your feet, soldier. I agree on that one. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. I know somebody that would like mint chocolate chip as well. Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell. And trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Yeah, exactly. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the magpie. What to do with this? I mean, sell it. You can use some money. Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. Yes. I would. It's a nice table. It's hardwood. Oh, heck yeah. Haha, <laughs> got you. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. Ugh. I guess that was probably me. I bet. Okay. Nothing out there anymore. <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew she was doing good wildlife. Where did I get? Uh. Let's go. Lasagna! Lasagna! Finish your salad first. Thank you, Tessa. You're a lifesaver. No, oh, don't worry about it. Never say no to ice cream or what? Restaurant. <laughs> what about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. You're quite right, love. Uh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. Well, there are some happy memories with I them. Mean, Just keep them. Most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But what? It's your past. Look. But you remember how I'd spend hours in front of the mirror just gathering all my hair behind my head? Sure. Dressed like this, with the long hair, it was like no one could really see me, you know? I, I mean, was still... the invisible boy. Damn. Man. Didn't think a picture could throw Just me like leave it anymore. for later. When you're old enough, you will see that you will understand that it's part of your life. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. Mm -hmm. No more putting a binder on every morning. 
God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Didn't you just, just so say you, know, you have I'll be there had to help out from VR chat and you now Whatever started you again? <laughs> You're Thanks. so silly. What happened? All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few to remind us how far we've come. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Oh, man. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on. Ah, uh, that poor girl. I heard something. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. You went no better. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it oh, on the I'm couch, and panic, sat yeah. on it because you wanted a pet chicken. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh -huh. Oh, well. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. Doesn't Neff have, uh, like, open relationship with him anyways? I thought she was, like, um, she, I think she has, like, multiple relationships at the same time. So she'd be fine. Come on, honey. Allison. Hold up your fish. But it's yeah, I mean, it still anymore. hurts, I guess. Allison stole it. So it was Neftanica's birthday yesterday, That's or what? Space. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. You're welcome to stick your hand in there to check. Oh, well. Wait, it was your birthday? Ah. Uh, well, then I say happy birthday on Monday to you. Move, bitch. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. <laughs> Allison. I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. Ready now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. What about me? I want to clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh, only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison. When we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sound fair? Yes! You're right. I was kind of being a brat. All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. <laughs> all right, I'll keep it. Bah. Are you, I really like that armchair. Maybe sit in it for a few minutes and see if you get used to the mold smell first. Uh, on second thought, never mind. <laughs> this is so silly. Why can't I do this all the time? Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? Okay. And finally. Oh, that's clean. I hate to say it, but... Oh yeah, there was the bin right next to it. Never mind. 
No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Hmm. Nothing more. Nothing less. What's with this commode? Ah, oh, man. Old hardwood commode's always good. He's looking up there. Hmm. It's with that table. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. Ah, uh, sell. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. Yeah. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Yes. Totally me. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. Oh, that's Sam, Before isn't it? Stinky pants Sam. Just younger. <laughs> oh, stinky pants Sam. <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunt for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Oh man, he's such a good man. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Like we are talk talking, we have a statue of good. Hey, Allison, come take a break with me. <laughs> I don't want to have a break with you right now. Let's just work this off. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. Yeah, that would be silly. We, one can cherry, one can... Oh, there's a... Hey, clean freak. You want coffee? Dunkin' cake. Interesting. There's a recipe for you if you want to rewatch the vault. <laughs> you can make that cake. Not for me though. I'm allergic to walnuts. We have a whole lot of nothing. And a little bit of uh, Heinz ketchup. Make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. No pickles. Ketchup, maybe. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? Yeah. Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Well, no, thank Ew. you. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm -mm. Ram so, ranch. Ground control to Major Allison. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? That's not how to start a fire. That's all coal. You need to add some more. Choose tea, choose coffee i'm i'm a tea drinker Earl gray or chai your call i'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe ah a nice pot of wakey wakey juice papa needs his rocket fuel oh <sighs> i am so Thank glad you, i came through on the <laughs> caffeine Shh, did you hear that <gasps> the ice king is sending us a warning where oh there your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. You're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help no, the I people didn't. they hurt instead? When Very I do, then this game stops in the middle, it, so... I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you I, I, I'll do that afterwards. I plan on having a break in, in half an hour. Of course, love. I actually do have to have a break in maybe ten minutes. I still think Just my there's a show going on with better. me that we I need so to attempt many hours with. Into that book. Yeah, 
Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. Stored in the kitchen drawer, that is. Oh, he's at it. Never mind. Hey, Allison. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't. How the fuck did they all. end up writing all these oh, so wrong? I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. You'd all think right. putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? What are you doing, Mr. Bra? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, well, come the on. bear is quite Humor easy. Me. So, what story do I have to. Yeah, well, the pelican. Mm. That's pelican. Uh, the she auntie. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. She's on the left, so I have to you swap this. Go here. No. No, that's wrong. Swap. Mm, this one. Yes. And the bear is him. The moose brings light. I have no clue who the fuck that is, though. What that should be right. Tap the goblin's book. For what story, though? The beaver fixes the house. Princess party. The princess and the two thieves makes new friends. The bear pig prowls. The moon hang makes The pelican helps her friends. Big frog is. Gargoyle. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient wood, the crafty goblins were getting into the all kinds of trouble. They had woken up in a particularly mischievous mood that day, and there was not a single denizen of the ancient forest who they did not manage to pull a prank on. They left a mud pie in the prince's kitchen, so that when she dug in, she got a big mouthful of dirt. They used paint to draw silly pictures all over Moose's antlers while he slept. They told the mangy muskrat, muskrat that his coat had been returned to his former glory, which made him very sad when he rushed to the water's edge and found he was in fact still mangy. They stole branches from the very old beaver stem in order to have a sword fight and they filled the old bear's den with burrs. Every time they ran away in a fit of gigglers, never stopping to consider whether their jokes had done any harm. They were on, the, they were on their way to fill the pierce pelican beak full of bubbles when they were hoisted into the air by the legs uh, by their legs though they trashed and shouted they found themselves staring into the face of the ice king all morning 
he said. I have been hearing complaints about you two. They are, ju they are just pranks, said the goblins. No one has really been hurt. N oh, no? Asked the Ice King. He forced them to see how each of the victims of the pranks was doing. The princess had a stomach ache from swallowing the mud. The moose antlers itched terribly where the paint had touched them. The muskrat was crying, sad at being reminded what his vanity had cost him. The very old beaver's den was flooded and the old bear was trying to get burrs out of his fur but finding most of them hopelessly tangled. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you must help each of them to undo the harm you caused. If you do a good enough job of this, there will be no further punishment. If you do not, you will have to give you, me your noses, so that you can no longer stick them into other people's business. Now the goblins like their noses right, where they were in the middle of their faces, so they set about making things right. They baked a real pie for the princess and brewed her a tea that would settle her stomach. They scrubbed the moose's antlers clean and then covered them in soothing mud. They sat by the river with the muskrat, listening as he talked in great detail about his old coat, and then they did their best to point out all, uh, point out all of the things that were still handsome about him like his proud whiskers and sparkling eyes. They let the very old beaver rest while they repaired all the damage done to the, her den and then finally they removed every burr from old bear's fur, even the ones that were hopelessly tangled. In the end they came before the Ice King to see if they had done enough. The Ice King surveyed uh, surveyed the forest and found that everyone seemed to be back to normal. What did you learn? asked the Ice King. That your pranks can make people feel bad. Oh, that your pranks can make people feel bad, said the goblins. The Ice King smiled and nodded. Yes, actions have consequences. In case you forget, I am going to leave you with a reminder. Whenever one of your pranks is going to hurt someone, you are going to feel a little pit in your stomach. That will be your punishment and your warning. So every time after that the goblins set out to do a prank that went a little too far, they felt a little pit in their stomach and they were forced to consider whether it was that right thing to do. And that is how the goblins irritated the Ice King and how they were punished. Well, I kind of feel like that story is not what brings us further. <laughs> but yeah, I think it, it, it's a nice story regardless. But how do I get out of here? It should be... <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> oh. Right. I think I'm done. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. This should be... Yes. Definitely. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people. Or this one. Not yet. Probably. Yep. Totally Marianne. Why a princess though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah, hmm. she'd have been a terrible ruler. Hmm. Fair. These specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably. <laughs> you better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way! going on I I don't know is he here is he really here I'm scared go away yeah go back to the forest mm -hmm. I 
forgot about that. We've been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? No, obviously not. Allison? Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. No, there was somebody in their lives Great. that was there. Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into <laughs> Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh... I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, I, uh... Anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh... I did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know, never been much of a reader. Huh? But... I think I get why what I said was wrong. And I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. That fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh... I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Boxes in the barn. Follow me. Myself, nice him. We'll go. be right behind you. 